do that. Welcome back to the shop on Think Build Test. Today, we're gonna continue on our series. This will be part two. We're gonna be beginning the build today. I've got the back of the trailer set up here and I've kinda got a mock height of the two inch receiver. I wanted to be able to use the original pin mounts on the trailer. The issue that I'm running into is that different receiver heights based on the levelness of this deck some will be too low as you've seen like on the trailer but then on my pickup it's too high i didn't really want to modify the trailer but i think that for the ease of being able to navigate it into the hitch properly i'd like to go in and notch this out make a c cut here on both sides and then i'll take and mount a pin here that those C holes can come and slip right on the pin. I'm looking at creating a mast here and then this will come here and I'll weld this together and this will really help make a tight joint. So while we're looking at this, I really would like to be able to actuate this with a hydraulic or maybe some kind of a ratcheting draw or something but I'm having a hard time really visualizing the mechanics of bringing this from here to here and the best way to do it. So this may be a 1.0 version and I may have to redo this. 170 pound lift, that's too much. And especially if this gets to be on a higher receiver, we're just gonna have to figure that out. We'll have some kind of a bracing here. Then I'll cut the two inch receiver to length after that when I kind of have all my other measurements where I want them and I can kind of see the play of the trailer in it and see how far it goes back and forth. We'll uh, get started on this. Before we get started, I just want to take this chance. If you uh, like what's going on, make sure you're subscribed so that you see the rest of this build and we'll definitely be coming back and testing this. We've got a camping trip coming up. We'll probably put it on the back of the trailer see how it rides, get some footage of that. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Just let me know what you want to see out of this channel. Without any further ado, uh, let's get to welding this stuff. have the main piece constructed. We have the main two inch receiver, the mast coming up. We have our piece that's gonna interconnect here and we have our rod that's gonna slip in here. So now I'm gonna make my C slots here and here. Uh, but just because this is at the outside edge, if this was to ever get knocked sideways here or the here, I wanna add a little bit of strength. So I'm gonna take these uh, little quarter inch plate pieces here and I'll just weld those in here for some strength. We got the bottom hook pin assembly complete. And now we need to work on lining up the top latch that will go to the existing trailer pins. And I want it to be able to come into a C channel like this. And I wanna do a horizontal latch system now so that this will come like a gate latch, come into the slot and then have a spring catch latch grab onto this bolt. I'm just gonna kinda mock this up and uh, I'll probably tack it in place after I get this height just right. I'm gonna get our height, square this up, and 
This will be where this catches. We'll get started on this. Now that we've got the bottom and the top hinge set, we contacted the manufacturer and if you'll remember, they have those training wheel stands that stick out here. So we're gonna factor that into this trailer and they said that they have 17 inches up. So we're gonna go 17 plus a couple of inches and then plus six inches for what has to go inside the two inch receiver. So we'll make that measurement now and go ahead and cut this. I got this notched out. So are y'all ready for the first ever test fit of this possible product invention pass or fail? Here we go. And uh, this is gonna be heavy. I haven't got the lift assist yet figured out. So uh, if I break my back, this is in the name of science. Okay, let's go. All right, let's check this out. We got well enough clearance in here. This will where it be where my new latch is gonna go. We haven't made the bracing yet. Don't worry about that. This isn't on the road. This is just first test, but we will have a bracing here and here. And about we're gonna have to have extra clearance for is this wobble here and wobble here with these straps on here. There isn't very much that it can wobble back and forth. Now, okay, so I'm gonna call it a night on this. I'm gonna get to designing the latch catch, put the brace bar in here and begin working on the lift mechanism to help bring this up. Revisit some of the strap down techniques and now that we have this here so we can visualize everything, we'll be able to move on to those next steps. Make sure you're subscribed so you see what's next in this series. We'll catch you next week. Thanks, YouTube. Today is the day I'm making a change. Building